Hello and welcome. So here I am assembling my Fowler 120465 um, arched bridge. Um, I only saw one other video on YouTube about it. It was uh, in, in the German language and that gentleman seemed to be having the same problem I was. So the instructions are very straightforward and it's not a difficult kit with the exception of these arches here that, you, that come flat but you have to curve them to make it work. So the first piece um, broke into four pieces. The second piece broke into only two pieces. I consider that an improvement. And the third piece did not break. Uh, the instructions tell you to put it in the oven. Uh, since I'm here in Las Vegas, I decided to put it outside in the sunshine. And what I did then is I used this roller. Now, I have one more piece to try. And after everything that I've learned with the first three pieces, I'm going to try and do it uh, and not break it. It seems to be susceptible to breaking at pretty much the marks where the, the injection molding was connected to it. So the one in the middle is always the most susceptible because it broke on both of them. And then the one that broke in four pieces broke also at where the injection molding uh, joints are. So I think I'm not sure if it's gonna help or not, but I'm going to make sure I cut those off completely before I try uh, curving the last piece. So this is what it looks like in the sun. I took the, the remnants off. On one side it had five, so one, two, three, four, five. And these three is where it was susceptible to, uh, to breaking. On the other side it only had four and they didn't line up with the five on the other side so I think it's going to be okay. So let's take this inside and see if we can curve it. So here we are. Um, it is warm but it isn't hot by any any stretch of the imagination. So what I'm going to start is I'm going to start walking it around the, the rolling pin here with the grooves on the outside and the 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 faux, uh, the brick finish on the inside. And this works reasonably well. Let me see if I can position it here. But I, what I try to avoid is making sure that I do not bend it just in the middle, because that it definitely does not like. So as you can see, it perfect. it, it is very pliable. It does do what it's supposed to do. And despite the fact that I broke um, the first two, I was able to, see that's the middle one, and it's, it does not like to bend right there, even though you're doing it extremely evenly. But despite that, I was able to do it and have it wrap itself all the way around this rolling pin. So we keep going, we keep going. And like this. And so this is about a two inch diameter rolling pin and you can wrap it all the way around, but it does want to, it's fine on this side, like I said, but right here you can see it peeking up and that's where that injection mold connection was. So there's just a fundamental, um, problem with the way they make this. Uh, I'm not sure if having only four joints would have made a difference or if it would simply move the weak point. But this is it right here. Um, so I have two of them that I was successfully able to curve like this. And these have enough give in them, but you do have to keep pushing back against that center uh, fold to prevent it from cracking. Um, that's just, uh, I don't think that's something that can be overcome. So we're going to install these on my bridge here, one at a time, using the Fowler Super Expert glue. And I'll be back in a few minutes, see how that's working out. So this is the section that broke into four pieces and I'm pretty much installing them just one cracked section at a time with the clamp on it. And it's, it, I think it's going quite well. The curves are me, are uh, lining up properly, it's not sticking out. It has enough support underneath that you can push down against it. So I did the first one, waiting for the glue to set on the second one, and we'll keep going. 
So while this one is setting up, um, I've been taking a closer look at the failure point in, right in the middle of these things. And I can tell you that you can probably see it right there at the, with the shadow, is that this center groove right here just isn't d as deep as the other ones. So I think it's compromised right from the start. Whether that's from the mold or because of how they inject it, I don't know, but I think um, I think we simply need to be forgiven for for these things snapping and not operating quite as prop quite as uh, as designed because they just they they weren't uh, they weren't made quite perfect. But uh, anyway, this one here, as you can tell, despite the fact that it broke into four pieces, is fitting in there qu uh, quite nicely. And when it's upside down and weathered, I don't think it'll be uh, it'll make a difference. So the first one, I had the advantage of access on all sides, so I can put it in section by section with glue. The second one, I'm obviously not going to have access to, so I have to try putting at least halfway on the first try. So I'm going to put the glue in here. On more than half. there and now we're going to set this one in its place acknowledging that the center is going to be slightly pointy we want to line these edges up right there and then push it down into place move it up make sure it's level right there and so it does fit and put another clamp on on this side right here. Make sure that it's level and pushed in and then apply pressure and have it sit in place. This side here, I'm gonna make sure it's sitting there but it doesn't have glue all the way around yet. Good, and then we're gonna put glue on the remainder of this groove here. And push that one into place, making as level as possible. And then we're gonna apply tension. Oh. here as well. Obviously there's no retake on this so that camera phone thing will have to stay in there. Right there and we apply pressure to that. Make sure it is seated all the way in. A little excess pressure And there we are. So we'll let that dry for a minute and we'll do the next one. <laughs> 